Ladies and gentlemen, this is an article that just came out in the New York Post, September 5th, 2019. Hurricane Dorian causes $7 billion in property damage to Bahamas. And we already seen the devastating pictures. It just looks awful, you know, and even the structures that are standing, they are really badly damaged and just looking at some of these buildings, they're going to have to just be demolished. You know, it is really a shame. You would think a bomb went off in that place. It's sad. Hurricane Dorian inflicted as much as $7 billion in property damage to the Bahamas when it struck the island with staggering 225 mile per hour wind gust according to bean counters the estimate from boston-based insurance adjusters karen clark and company which specializes in assessing damage from catastrophes does not include infrastructure damage done by the monster storm and comes as the Bahamian officials are still trying to fully assess the loss in property and human life. Now, the last time I looked, y'all, they said it was 23 people dead. But they still got to go through that entire area, even the areas that are still flooded in order to get a real count. And that's going to take several weeks. There's no way they're going to get that done in a short period of time. So far, there are 23 confirmed deaths from the hurricane, but the death toll is expected to rise, particularly in the hardest hit, Abaco Islands and Grand Bahama Island. Abaco is no more said Karen Cartwright, who was trapped for five days on a backhoe, which just a week earlier was the most beautiful place you wanted to see. Oh, that's a shame. See this. Alana, Lexus stand on a concrete slab of her home in Great Abaco Island. Wow. Wow. You just can't picture everything you have is gone. That is such a shame. Treasure K, a resort town on the east coast of Abacos, saw more than 90% of its buildings destroyed. Stephanie healed chairman of the township told the Bahamian Tribune newspaper, Abaco remains without power, fuel, or a supply of drinking water as rescuers continue to comb through the debris in search of more casualties. Journalists reported seeing at least one body tangled under a tree branch next to twisted sheets of metal with locals saying other bodies had been spotted. Meanwhile, cruise lines that frequent... Okay, so they're not going to be able to have too many tourists there anytime soon. So the luxury cruise line or among private, public and private donors have shipped to help okay so that that's good you know they need to use those luxury cruises to bring in supplies as far as i'm concerned if they want to do anything good that's what they should do um royal caribbean carnival and disney all pledge one million dollars for relief efforts So, ladies and gentlemen, you know, it, it's going to take them a while, like I said, because there's so much flood water when you look at some of the pictures. And a lot of that water is going to have to recede before they can really get in there. 
and do a good assessment on um, finding bodies and because, you know, they said people are reporting folks missing. So it's going to take a while to piece that together. And right now, Hurricane Dorian is in South Carolina and they're taking a pretty bad beat. And I was just looking at some of the pictures out of Charleston and it is badly flooded there already. So, you know, they're nowhere near being out of the woods. And plus, I read there are several tornadoes that were spotted in South Carolina as well. So, you know, Dorian is not done battering up the East Coast, not just yet. So we've been cloudy here where I am all day. And I know the hurricane is going to be moving in this direction. And they're saying, you know, by tomorrow, North Carolina and Southern Virginia might be feeling the effects of Dorian by then. I'm sure it will. It's still moving very slow. Uh, last time I looked... It's still moving at eight miles an hour. So it's a slow moving hurricane. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.